Hey there Capricorn, hope you guys' week has been good to you guys. You guys are all beautiful, I appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what we're talking about today and what we need to know right now for our highest good, guys. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn babes, please. Capricorn, what do they need to know right now for the highest good, Capricorn? Uncertainty. It almost wanted to go upside down. So it's like somebody knows that you don't trust them, but they're trying to figure out how to, you know, get you back in this energy of second guessing yourself. Let me get two more. Capricorn. Longing. Yeah, there's somebody trying to get you back in this energy of longing for them. Let me get one more for Capricorn. Oh, player, player. The player, player. No wonder that you <laughs> don't trust the player, man. Player only loves you when they're playing, so closure. So somebody's trying to figure out how to have some closure now. We give ourselves the closure. We do not let people keep us stuck, okay? People purposely do not give us closure so they can try to wiggle back in. That is a thing. It's overall energy for Capricorn. Capricorn. Overall energy for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Guilt. We're releasing any beliefs that no longer assist in our soul's growth, guys, okay? We're not going to let people make us feel guilty, okay, for closing these cycles out and moving forward with our life, okay? You, there's definitely an energy here of somebody trying to come back and make us feel guilty here, trying to pull on your empathy. Release any self-limiting doubts about yourself, guys, okay? Do not let people project that onto you. Honesty. So you can't expect the truth from others, but you can expect it from yourself here, okay? This is why you gave yourself the closure. You had to be honest with yourself, you know, and move, kept it pushing. And now somebody's trying to come back in here with this, with this energy, like they want to open up and they want to be honest now, but I don't think it's uh, sincere. I think this person is not being honest. Now there is an energy here of this person feeling guilty as well, but they wear a mask. They wouldn't, they're not going to show you that part of them. Let me get one for Capricorn. 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 Thank you. I'm telling you, love, trust, and happiness. That's what this person is trying to figure out how to put you back in this energy. Okay? You want love, trust, and happiness. And this is what this person knows that you gave to them. Okay? So, this person is definitely trying to figure out how to work their self back into your life again. Something important is coming, so be prepared. Mm -hmm. Got some, some pretty big things headed your way. Okay? With that moon there, that would tell me that you're something here about your higher self knowing what this could be. It could be to do with your finances, the love department here, guys. But you've definitely got some things that are coming your way. And I feel like it, it is love for somebody here because with this love, trust, and happiness card out, that's like meeting your counterpart here, okay? That's why this energy is trying to come back. It'd it, it be like that, man. To explore the unknown ahead. So there's new doorways, new doors open, new paths to, to travel down, guys, okay? This is about just being prepared for anything. Sky's the limit. So you're just being called to just be prepared. Beautiful. I like that for us. I'm a Capricorn moon, so. Let me get one for a Capricorn. Power of the spoken word. I only speak about what I would like to create in my life. Thus, I draw it towards me. So make sure that you're watching what you say to yourself, guys, okay? Your thoughts create your, your reality. Your words will create your reality here. So make sure that you're speaking beautiful things into existence, which I clearly see that you are because it, you've got stuff coming your way, guys. So keep doing that. And then healing. I release all blockages to my well-being. Perfect health is restored to me now. Absolutely. Healing. And this is all because you've been doing all this inner work, guys. Healing. Growing. Evolving. Ready to start new phases of your life here, okay? That's why past people will try to come in and get in the way because it's like a test. Are we really ready to move forward, okay? This past person here is not healed, guys. They're going to try to convince you that they've been doing some kind of healing work like you have. They have not. Sacred space. I take time to clear myself and my home to create a sacred space. Okay, I feel called out. I literally, I've been called to start getting rid of some, some old clothes and things that I don't wear. Like, I have so much clothes, so I want to go and take it to, like, a homeless shelter for women and kids because I've, I've got so much stuff, so that's, like, a message for me. But some of you guys could be getting called to, like, clear your space out, okay? This is about clearing yourself of all negative energy, okay? 
And something about a sacred space here for somebody that you may have like an altar or something in your house here. So clearing that, cleansing that, okay? But something about you creating, because you need to be opening up for these new things. So you may have to remove some things to open up for new. And, like, and it very well could be getting rid of some clutter, okay? Things that you no longer need. And that's like a way to give back to you guys. Like me personally, I'm going to give a bunch of my clothes away. And that's just me giving back. So, you know, just that good energy. It's putting that good energy out there, guys. All right, time about uncertainty. Why is this here for Capricorn? Uncertainty. Well, the way that that card's looking over there, there's, you don't trust this person because they a player, man. Non-committal energy. Time about uncertainty. Oh, here comes this offer here. A big old pentacle offer that, you know, stability, loyalty. You're uncertain about this. Something about you collaborating with other people with business ideals and your jobs, okay, career moves. Make sure you're trusting which way you're going, okay, because you definitely got some doors opening up here for you, but not everything coming your way is meant for you, so that's where you got to use your discernment here, guys. But you definitely got a past person here that's trying to present this shiny pentacle towards you, okay? This person might not be doing well, and they see your finances doing good, guys. Tell me more about uncertainty. You definitely don't trust this. It's almost like you had to look over your shoulder with this person. Like you just, you couldn't trust them at all. Tell me more. Emperor. Okay, this person's not changed. That's where the uncertainty is, guys. This is someone that sees that you're leveling up, okay? You are focused on so many good things in your life, okay? Careers, your finances, love for some of you. And this person is trying to come back and convince you that they have changed. They have not. The emperor is very set and stuck in their ways. They ain't budging. They ain't changing. Okay. This is somebody that's still a breadcrumber. They're trying to figure out how to get you to give to this, okay? This is someone that likes to give to other people because it's the player cards out here. They've not changed, okay? They want to try to come back and make something right with you, but again, they they haven't changed. And they've been spying and watching you, observing you. I'm telling you, they're watching your life right now, and they're seeing how your life is getting ready to take off. So they're trying to figure out a way to get back into your life. Don't give them access to you because they see you over here having that transformation, changing your life okay for some of you these people could have left you down for the count and thought that you were going to stay down on the ground okay where they were sitting there looking back and keeping an eye on you the whole time and they see that you got up and, and you evolved yourself and now they're like man how do i get back in there to get back into their good graces you're not this is someone that thought that you was gonna you know be in this if they held back that they would have been able to keep you stuck and now it's flipping around because this is somebody that sees that you're holding back now and now they're trying to figure out how to still hold on to you. Some of you guys can have this person blocked off. This is someone that wants to keep you in denial still. They, are, they have not changed, okay? This is someone that used to have you guys in denial. But now they're figuring out how to put you back in that energy again. Because look, this person sees that you're getting ready to take off. Okay? Free spirit energy. Ready for new things in your life, okay? So these doorways... In all areas of your life, guys, it's opening up for you. So this keeps coming out for us. So we've got some pretty good new chapters in our life, guys. So we're not going to let this person come back here and, and prevent us from taking these leaps, okay? We, we take past people back into our lives. It will redirect the whole course of our life, okay? So we're not going to let that happen for us. Talk about longing for Capricorn. Longing. So this person thought that you was going to be longing for them, but this is what you did. You started doing your healing work, Okay. So, could have some codependency issues, abandonment issues, guys. I know I do. That's okay. That's part of, you know, we, we acknowledge that, and that's how we grow from it, okay? But this is somebody that sees you could very well be in the spotlight here, okay? But like I said, the thing of it is, this person for sure thought that by not giving you closure and giving you the silent treatment that you would have been stuck wanting them, but you did your inner work and that's good and you guys still could be healing that's why that healing card came out here for you guys but it's beautiful now you've got somebody watching you now in the spotlight trying to figure out how to put you back in this longing energy for of they want you to long for them i feel like it's flipping now this person's trying to they they're longing for you now tell me more about longing but they wear a good poker face you wouldn't be able to tell to the outside world so this is somebody that's trying to figure out how to to bring this love towards you guys Okay, this is someone that took off, left you with unanswered questions, no closure, no nothing, and they went towards somebody else, and then they expected you to still be clinging on to them. So now they're now this person sees that you've taken your power back, man. 
add a couple layers to that power too. And I know that's right. This person didn't expect for you to be in this fearless energy, okay? Powerful manifestors here because you've got this power of a spoken word. So whatever you say is what happens. So make sure you, you're telling yourself and you're speaking good things to yourself. Speaking good things out into the universe, guys, okay? Like I said, this person did not expect for you to be in this boss energy, like <laughs> powerful, very powerful energy here. This person could be with somebody else right now, and it just isn't, it's not you, okay? And they purposely do this. It's like they take off, and they go to someone else, and then they, they expect you to be longing for them. And this player is still entertaining somebody else, but they, they can't find another you because you're this, you're this star here. This player's got all these other options around them, but you're unique. You're not, you know, you're not like all the rest of them. That's why they're, they're not going to find another you, so... There they are, player, back and forth, okay? Fueled off lust, ego, thinking that they are they can keep people stuck where they want. I'm telling you, this person could be driving past your house. This is somebody that's trying to figure out how to get you back into this connection here, guys. And I'm telling you, this person sees that you're building this generational wealth here, okay? I don't know if I said marriage or not, but there could be a marriage here involved or this person's wanting this with you now. And there's something about this person still connected, entwined with somebody here as well. And they're trying to figure out a way how to talk to you. Okay? Yeah, there's definitely somebody else here still. So this is somebody that is still trying to figure out how to get back into your energy again, guys. Okay? Tell me about Casanova. Player, player. Or Capricorn. Player. Tell me about... <laughs> Sneaky. Deceptive. I don't mean to laugh, guys, but we got to have humor, man. <laughs> Whew, I laugh at my, I look back at my life and I'm just like, I, I'd be laughing at the stuff that I went through. It's, it's pretty funny. I, like, I'm going to open up and share my story with you guys. I have a lot of uh, pretty interesting stories and things that I have been through. But this player is still being deceptive. They still sneaking around, okay? And for somebody here, this person is still connected to somebody and they are trying to sneak away from that person. They sneak, like, they ain't changed. This is somebody that sneaks around on everybody. This person, this player keeps adding more burdens to their life, guys, okay? This player doesn't like that you've laid the burdens down and that you refocused your attention onto yourself and you're doing better in life, okay? It's almost like they want to try to figure out how to put you back in this burdened energy. You really worked on your heart chakra when it comes to this player energy. Some of you guys could have dated more than one energy like that because if we don't learn our lessons, we will date the same person in a different body, same outcome over and over and over again. Been there, done that. Okay. This player is trying to figure out how to convince you that they have healed. Okay. They see you. You've been working on yourself. Like I said, healing that heart chakra. But that sword under there tells me that you quick to cut somebody off. You ain't to be played with. That's why they're strategizing how to come in here for you because you already know the truth about this person and something about this person still not being honest and trying to sneak away um, and still keep you in denial about things that they're doing. They're not being honest. Okay. See, this player wants to come back because they see you in the spotlight, getting attention, recognition, just doing well, all eyes on you. This person is so worried about you meeting somebody new, guys, but this is a player that wanted all eyes on them, a very... A very uh, boastful energy okay they they have to they they like their ego stroke they have to have attention and validation from everybody okay and they see that you are now getting that attention and they're like oh man I kind of get back over there to the Capricorn and there I'm telling you this players having a tower moment right now because they didn't expect for this this to change the story flip this dynamic it's like everything's been redirected to what this person thought the outcome was going to be you you changed it up and now they're like whoa so and this is someone that causes tower moments because they play they're they're non-committal and i'm telling you this player for sure thought they had you stuck and now that you're moving okay and you're doing well now they're trying to figure out how to put you in this energy of not no any not anymore blah, not having any more forward movement they want to put that to a halt okay so don't let this player come in here and put you stuck. Tell me about closure. So we give ourselves a closure, okay? So people can't come back into our life. Tell me about closure. Why is that here? And then when she's got her hand over the heart, so that tells me that this person's going to try to come back and be sincere. Like they really, you know, they mean it. And like they're, they're not being honest. This person sees that you're in this independent energy right now, okay? You're doing well. 
Okay, this is a building your your stability, focused on your money. Okay, self improvements. You guys could be exercising, doing different like beauty routines, but it's all about you. You've been pouring all this time and energy back into yourself here, and you're doing really good, and and you look good. Something here about your beauty, your 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 outer looks. Not it's not always about our outer looks, guys. Beautiful on the inside and out. I always say you can be the most gorgeous person in the world, but if your insides are ugly, your soul's ugly. You're ugly to me, and that's just my opinion on that. But this person for sure thought that you was gonna be. You, you very well could have been trying to get some kind of answers when you guys first had a falling out, okay? But then you started redirecting and putting all that time and energy back onto yourself. And now this person sees you in this very independent energy and they know that you are a catch. So they're trying to figure out how to come in here and have this final talk with you guys, okay? They're going to make it seem like they can't make it without you guys. They're only doing this because they see that you're doing well. And there's a devil. I'm telling you, this person does this to cheat, to keep you bound to them. They didn't expect for you to break these chains that this one wanted to keep you in, okay? This is like the devil moves through this person that I'm picking up on, okay? So, this the devil's still trying to figure out how to put you back in this energy of binding you. Don't let them do that because you've got those doorways opening up here for you. Exactly. New cycle starting, okay? We closed out this cycle. Okay, we made peace with it so it doesn't interrupt our future. And now this person is trying to figure out how to open this back up again. Okay, and something definitely about somebody here being in the spotlight. You could be at a distance from this person. You could play it, be planning on moving away or you have moved recently. But this is someone that thought that they could have abandoned you, left you out in the cold, gave you the silent treatment and that you would have just been in this, this sad energy. But you picked yourself back up and you, you did the inner work and you're doing that much better now. Okay, this is somebody that could not be doing good financially here and they see you doing well. Okay, so this is about past life lessons needed to be learned. You could have known this person from your childhood, teenage years. Okay, it could be children here involved. Okay, but this person has been doing this to a lot of people. They purposely, there's something about this person when they were in their childhood. I don't know if it was like a, they could have had parents walk out of, out of their life something about their first relationship somebody could have hurt this person real bad but they've been they've learned this behavior from somewhere okay but that's their issues that they have to fix guys you can't fix that for them but this person's only doing this because you're you've walked away you're you're on the ground you've been um balancing your life out here you've been staying grounded committed to yourself and you got out of your feelings okay you started doing that inner work and now you're just ready to go in a new direction that's why this person wants to try to come back and have the final talk I've got fixed energy over here, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. I've got Earth, I've got Aries, Aquarius, water, air, fire, Earth, and Capricorn here. So closure. I'm telling you, man, this person's only doing it because they 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 up to no good, man. Don't let this person back in your life. This is a very deceptive energy, and they are still up to no good. They want to try to come back and put you back in illusions, guys, okay? This person's, like, got two sides to them, okay? They They... They flip back and forth, man, and they're doing this because they see you moving on and your life is getting that much better, guys, okay? This person doesn't like that you see through their red flags, and this person's still got some, okay? And some of you guys, this person's coming back because there's there's um, ulterior motives. This person is very bitter and jealous that your life is taking off, and they want to try to come in here and destroy that because they're confused by what you're doing here, okay? And they want to try to come back and put you in this... This confused state of mind again. Don't give them that power, man. Capricorn. Dirty offer. I'm saying don't take it. It's in reverse. Don't take this person's offer, guys, okay? This is someone that wants you to take this dirty offer. This is somebody that's still creeping around. This is someone that... You know, hides their true self. They they lurk in the background. They they make moves towards people, and then they 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 sit back and they observe people. They'll start fights and things with people, and then they it's like an, an instigator type energy that I'm picking up on this person. This person didn't expect for you to have all this wisdom, though. You you definitely have um, leveled up when it comes to some kind of um, wisdom and knowledge that you've gained here. Okay, but this person, this is a player. They still creeping around. Don't take it their offer. It's dirty. This is someone that likes to talk crap about you, okay? Loose lips. This one's got some loose lips, okay? All, all, all bark, no bite, this one. 
thing. They want to sit there and talk crap about you. Just keep being your true authentic self, okay? Because this player, they want to try to come back here for you after they've done talked all this crap about you. Now, for somebody, this person could be only trying to come back here because they feel like if you take them back, all the stuff that um, that is being exposed about them, it won't. It, it's something about their image because it's some. It's all about the way that they how people view them. So they will try to get you back to to try to prove something to the community here. Something about that I keep getting. Tell me more, Capricorn. Thank you. Wants you back, man. See? This person wants you back. And this is somebody that wanted you to be in this longing energy and you're not. This person will waste your time if you take them back. Okay? No changes. This person has not changed at all. And there's a new romantic love offer coming in here, guys. Because you've got love lining up here for you. I keep getting that for us. So, and it's like this person knows it. Whether if they're getting reads or they're... They just can feel it. I don't know. But this is like somebody, because well, they're creeping. So they're like keeping a close eye on your life here. This person goes around and, and has sex fixes. That's what this player energy does. Okay. And then they try to come back and kiss your butt. So this person, <laughs> this person wants to try to come back here and kiss your butt. And this is someone that wanted you to be in this energy of kissing their butt and you're not. Something about children's services here. Kids at risk. Something about child support. This person, you guys could have kids with this person. The kids could have been, um, you know, children's services involved. Something about child neglect, not not paying their child, their child support. Something about child neglect, okay? With whether you have the kids or there's kids on the outside. Because I was picking up on kids earlier. So there's definitely something about children's services. This person could have tried to say that you were a bad parent. And could have tried to call children's services on you as well too. Because this is a very dirty person that I'm picking up on. Like they do that tit for tat. This is someone that seeks revenge. Okay, You didn't seek revenge. You started doing that inner work and you wanted better for yourself. Why this person was wanting to run around and seek revenge on you. It's like you were you're battling yourself. Man, that's all you were doing. You battled yourself. And you created more friction for yourself. So, good luck. Tell me more about Capricorn. A grudge holder. I'm telling you, this is a grudge holder. This is somebody that is not... They are so mad that you're doing well. Some of you guys could have had... Hold on to some grudges. I know I used to be a big time grudge holder. Okay, I've been working through that. I am not going to give anybody the power to take up any of my energy and hold a grudge over somebody. Let people be who they want to be, guys. Okay? But this, this past person of yours has got a grudge over you. They don't like that you can just dust things off like it is what it is type energy, okay? They don't like it that you, eh, whatever. They wanted you to be in your head and you got out of your head overthinking things, stressed, overanalyzing. So, yeah, that's what this one wanted to do. Now I feel like they're trying to figure out how to put you back in that energy of in your head. And then here's the player energy right here, caught a case sexually transmitted diseases this person could have got something so i don't be don't be messing with this person because they sleeping around okay no facts never has the facts make stuff up i'm telling you this one likes to run their mouth they talk crap about you they got no facts on what you're doing so don't give them any room to come back in your life because it's like they're fishing to try to get some information about your life okay they they're being nosy a divination abuser yeah, I was picking up somebody trying to get readings on you, trying to figure out what you're doing. This is a dark person I'm picking up on. This is someone that will use their gifts for bad guys. You're the queen rising, stepping into your power, praised, coming up in the spotlight. And that's why this person's so pissed off and trying to come back for you. Okay. This is somebody that could try to, something about money, trying to gift you money. Something about your finances could have been taken away from this energy here, but you're about to, you're getting money here. And this, that's why another reason why this person wants to come back, because they see that you're getting money. Something about you being charitable as well, too, guys. Reflecting. You guys could have a singing bowl. You could be into sound therapy and things like that, but you really, blah, blah, somebody's name could be Billy for me to say that, but you've really been like sitting here and reflecting, okay? It's beautiful energy that you're in. And this is somebody that's been trying to figure out, they're fishing for comments. This is a very nosy person trying to pry into your life, okay? Those person's on the same stuff, different day. Nothing's changed, okay? Love triangles, third parties, multiple choices, they all over the place, okay? And it's like they want to try to create friction for new things, especially your love life. I keep getting that for us guys, okay? Don't let this person try to come in here and triangulate and then try to create a wedge with new people in your life. Don't give them that power. Because this is an energy that, like, it's almost like they they like when people, 
argue over them. It, it makes them feel validated. It's something about their self-worth, like when people argue over them, it makes them feel good about themselves. Capricorn. Memories. So now they're going to try to bring up the good times that you guys had. Okay? Before you found out that they are a player and, and running their mouth and gossiping, slandering you, all that, they want to try to put you back in that nostalgic energy. Tell me more. Because they want to try to trap you. That's why they're doing that. They don't like that you broke free. Okay? It's like this person didn't want you to see your true potential. It's like they mind effed you. They had your, your mind very foggy, okay? And it, it, it's like you realize because that just looks like cloth around the wrist there. So it's like it's like a, men, a mental stuff that this person wanted you to ha wanted you and they had you in it at a time. But you realize that it was just all in, in your head. And that's when your healing started taking place. And then you just broke free from that. It's beautiful. Don't let this person trap you again. But I don't think I need to tell you that. I think you got this. Hopeless. So this person thought that you were going to be sinking in despair, falling apart without them. And you're not. Okay, this is somebody that will try to, they want to put you back in this energy. And th this is somebody that's going to work every angle to try to get you back. Okay, they're going to try to present stability. That don't work. Then they'll try to guilt trip you. They'll try to love bomb you. They'll, they're going to cry crocodile tears, whatever they got to, to try to pull on your empathy. Yeah, pain. Try to tell you that they're in pain. You need to remember all the pain that you pulled yourself out of with this person. Okay, this is someone that hurt you bad and they didn't even look back to see if you're okay they were off with other people so tell me more capricorn and then here's the divine feminine that's you knowing your worth this is you attracting all these beautiful new starts towards you guys okay this is someone here that is used to be you being more in your feminine side and i feel like you've been in your masculine energy when it comes to this past person here so they're trying to figure out how to get you back in this softer energy okay I know me personally, it's like my feminine energy. I, I've kind of gotten very like overly independent because I've had to just to learn to depend on myself. So that's something that I have to work on myself too is lowering my feminine energy or my, sorry, my masculine energy down so I can open up more of my feminine side because I do feel like I operate out of masculine energy at this time. But, but it's because, you know, we've been hurt and it's just, you know, it, it's... That's part of our growth. For me personally, we got to work through that. But because we all got our masculine and our feminine side here. So this is somebody that thought that you was going to be depressed, feeling lost, grieving. Okay. This person does feel this energy. They feel this way. They're in this sorrow. But it's like they're only feeling that way because you're not in this. That's what they wanted you to be in. And they're doing that because you're saying your final goodbyes. You've, you've drawled the line. You're done. You gave yourself that closure. It's goodbye. And now this person wants to try to come back like they've had a realization about you. You, however, had your awakening. You, you know, you've had your epiphany and just realized and that's when your life started shifting. Okay. And it's almost like this person is realizing that there's something coming for you. New love, new money. Money and love is what I keep getting for us. Only you. I'm telling you, you do have got this energy of a new someone that's going to be devoted. Okay. And then you got this player that's going to try to come back and convince you that they want this with you but I feel like they tell everybody this because they like to they get in the ears and they tell everybody that they sleep around with it's only you it's only you and 20 more people <laughs> no thank you this one wants to try to distract you okay because they know these changes are coming in this is someone that will put delays in your life guys okay like I said if you choose this person back in your life it will redirect the whole course of your life and you definitely got some new things opening up here for you don't let them do that this is someone that would try to get you to open up and be intimate with them. And then they would use it against you later at a later time trying to guilt trip you and things, okay? This is someone that is trying to get you back in that energy of bonding with them, okay? And something about you, when you have this new love coming towards you guys, something about you being... Um, being open to being back in that intimate, okay? Because, again, when we've had somebody use this against us, we close up. I know how it is, guys. I... I work working through this myself at this time. So we've got the clarity that we needed to about this person, this situation. They are not being honest, okay? This person could be looking at pictures and things of you right now. I'm telling you, this is somebody here that's going to try to get you back in this commitment. And it's almost like this person knows that this new commitment's coming in here for you. And they want to try to get in the way of that. <clears throat> Let me get one for Capricorn. Thank you. 
If something deep within you tells you that something is not quite right, trust it. If you are unhappy in your life, change something. It is entirely up to you. Stop making excuses. You are in control of your own life. So, trusting yourself, because this person's going to try to come back and make it seem like they have changed, man. They have not. This stressful situation is almost coming to an end. We are sending positive energy, financial help, miracles, and life-changing blessings are on the way. Absolutely. That's why we're not going to let this person come in here and get in the way of that, guys, because you've got some really good things coming in here for you. I keep getting that for us, so claim it. Affirm it. That's what it is. We've got love. We've got all kinds of beautiful things coming for us, okay? Don't let the player back in, guys. All right, my beautiful Capricorns. Hope this message helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me in a couple days. We'll do it all over again, guys. Have a good rest of your week. See you guys soon. Light and love to you guys.